Well, hello everyone. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, my name is Ronnie Vasquez, as I mentioned before. A little bit about me. I'm a chemical engineering major at UC San Diego. I'm in my last year. And today I will be talking about the chemistry part of the tortilla process. So before we get into the actual preparation of the masa, I just want to introduce this uh, topic to you, the pH scale. The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a solution is. If you see, uh, we have different components that even we use at home or that we use to clean. Uh, to the left, we have the acidic, the, the red part. You see how, how the lemon right there is very acidic. And then if you go to the right, you find the alkaline solution uh, as soap or bleach. Uh, something that is gonna be very key to our um, concepts here in the chemistry part of it is the, is the solution that we call cal in Spanish or lime in English. This solution is gonna help us uh, create that, that, that concentration of the, of the masa in order to get the, the, the product that we want. So uh, go ahead, Johnny, and uh, click next. And we're gonna watch a little video, which is gonna show you how the, the preparation of this alkaline solution uh, works in order to uh, create that, that, uh, that masa that we want at the end. So as you can see, they have uh, the kernels of the corn and they wash it. They wash it first with, with water and they have it right there uh, in a non-reactive pot just to uh, put it right there and then they have the water and then at the end, they're gonna add the alkaline solution right here. There you go. You see how white it is? That's because it's very basic. Right there, he's, the person is mixing it right now, just so that the corn absorbs that alkaline solution. And then they are gonna let it heat. They're gonna let it heat and they're gonna let it rest overnight so that the corn absorbs all the moisture that it needs in order to break its components. As you see that water over there, the wastewater is called nejayote. That's the wastewater that you get after uh, the process of uh, soaking the corn. After that, we wash it. We wash it very well so that the, uh, the, uh, the kernels, they have this, something, they have this uh, protective uh, layer that they're gonna, they're gonna remove. That is, that, that is called the pericarp. Remember that, that name. That is called the pericarp and that's what we want to remove. As you see, He's mixing it and he's gonna show how the pericarp is being removed. If you see his hands right there, that's what we want to get rid of. That's the pericarp that we want to get rid of in order to get our tortilla. And then he's just washing it again very well so that you don't have that pericarp uh, in the tortilla. And that will end our video, Johnny, if you can pause it so that I can go ahead and talk a little bit more about the chemistry. So there, there it is. So now you saw the process. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about the process of making masa. This process is called nixtamalization, also known, also known as the old school process. The nixtamalization is a nation process where uh, corn kernels are heated, as we saw, uh, in uh, alkaline solution of water and calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is what we mentioned before, it's cal, in Espanol or uh, lime in English in order to remove the outside layer, as I mentioned before, called the pericarp. And according to the traditional recipe, uh, corn kernels should be kept in alkaline solution overnight after being heated. And the end, uh, the corn is drained, washed two or three times, as you saw in the video. And uh, the wastewater, as I mentioned before, is called nejayote, remember that. And then after that, we mold it into the characteristic form of tortilla. Uh, for the chemical point of view, the gelatination of the maize starch uh, it's, uh, is dependent of the nixtamalization. That's the process of making tortilla. So the pericarp of the corn is chemically damaged as we heat it and as we put the alkaline solution. This disruption of the kernel structure allows water to get into the uh, to interact with the kernel and we get that gelatination. That mixture uh, we get rid of by washing it 
and then the milling process allows uh, more starch granules to interact with water and their gelatination provides a smooth uh, texture of the tortilla. <laughs>